Thank you. With all respect, I think um, one of the reasons why our adversary might view us as weak is that chasing detente and focusing on the weather is not really negotiating from a position of strength. Assistant Secretary Crittenbrink, on the anniversary of Tiananmen, June 4th, you boarded a plane to travel to Beijing to engage in diplomatic talks just miles from where the massacre occurred. That very same day, the Department of State issued what is arguably the weakest statement ever by the U.S. government honoring the memory of Tiananmen. Can you explain why the Department would choose those days above all to engage with the CCP? Congressman, I want to be uh, absolutely clear. I agreed to travel to Beijing for meetings with my counterpart on June 5. The only way I could get to Beijing by that date was to leave here on June 2nd, which caused me to arrive uh, in Beijing on June 4, where I held internal meetings in the embassy, in the U.S. Embassy, um, to prepare with my counterparts for my meetings on June 5. Simultaneous to that, uh, the Secretary of State other State Department officials uh, issued uh, a very tough statement, as we always do annually, on the Tiananmen Massacre of Innocent Civilians, the 34th anniversary of that. Why, why, was, it, why was it weaker than, than previous statements from I, the State Department I, years before Congress this administration? I can't, uh, I, I can't agree with that do you, statement. Do you, do you agree that it was a watered-down statement? I, I absolutely do not. Uh, we, why, why was it different than previous years? I can't respond to, and I don't have it in front of me exactly how it, it was different. different. But what I can assure it was. You Do you agree? It was a different, different uh, kind of statement. I, I, I don't agree with that, sir. I agree that on the 34th anniversary of the Tiananmen massacre, the secretary spoke out as he always does, and more, perhaps more importantly, while I was in Beijing, and uh, even more importantly, while Secretary Blinken was in Beijing, we raised these very issues and we raised them forcefully uh, with the Chinese. The Chinese have there's there's no uh, ambiguity. Uh, in the Chinese mind about our views on the Tiananmen. So there, there's, a, there's commentary from a Foreign Policy magazine that says, um, approach an adversary from a position of palpable neediness, make upfront concessions to gain goodwill, and settle for uncertain political deliverable that lies in the future. This characterizes the Biden policy on China. Assistant Secretary Crittenbrink, following up my questioning from earlier this week in the Foreign Affairs Committee, have you or anyone at the State Department encouraged another agency to delay implementation of a sanction or export control, yes or no? Congressman, I cannot accept the characterization of our policy. We approach our policy with China. That was not my characterization. That was commentary from Foreign and Policy I, and Magazine. I categorically reject that. Have you or anyone at the State Department encouraged another agency to delay implementation of a sanction or export control? Congressman, I'm not going to get into the deliberations of, of pre decision that, that is a very important question. And I that, that speaks to the policy of this administration on China. Yes, sir. Have you or anyone at the State Department encouraged another agency to delay implementation of a sanction or export control related to China? What we have done, Congressman, is carried out an unprecedented number of actions. I don't think you're answering China. the question. And that is a question that this administration needs to answer for the American people because we've seen a spy balloon traverse our sensitive military sites. We have seen a spy station set up 90 miles from the continental United States. We have seen a, a, a policy of chasing diplomacy without any strength. We see no deterrence on Taiwan. The American people need security. We need strength. We do not need weakness. Did you or others at state, including Wendy Sherman or Rick Waters, ever advocate or consult with NSC or other agencies to delay an action like entity listing? Congressman, again, I'm not going to address uh, pre-deliberative uh, matters uh, under consideration. What I will underscore, what has this administration done? 
we have carried out an unprecedented number of strong actions, both in terms of sanctions, entity listings, visa restrictions, strengthening of our relationships with allies and partners, strengthening our military deterrent capability and those of our allies and partners. We are proud of what we've achieved we, we in got our it. China uh, Let the record show the gentleman was asking about past deliberations, um, and the witness has refused to answer. Uh, Mr. LaHood is recognized for five minutes. 